Yeah, we're good together. For That's what he said. Well, well, he well, said well, open heart. But if we ever get married, I think I keep my name a diamond. He said it's open heart. Everybody knows. January 7th, 1991. This was 2006. Wait a minute. That's not too bad. It was 1991. Let's go kick it. That's what my mom's party. They were saying, well, let's get married here. All the relatives. Yeah, we're good. We had See, I was when I was no, he was a total disabled so buddy. You get no. the DV license. Yeah. 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 And that, the first plate cost five yeah. bucks. That's why five, five years they send you your little yearly sticker. I'm going to hear the other day. Yeah. 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 There's going to be a lot and coming back from this. This war. I'm real good. Like yeah. As soon as Ben yeah. opens up on there. And then but that'll my, be the appeal. They can't. Everybody's going to be on disability. But even though oh, I fixed God. it, it was still leaking, so I had to have a new boss. So next month, I'm going to come and get a well, question. Well, I don't know, I don't know why it's so much there. Then I bought the new one. They're cutting the juice by 100000 and they're going to take another $23 billion in military spending. So where's it going to go? And how many billions is it? Yeah, they're uh, dropping the troops. troops. Yeah. Yeah. They're going to repeal that, uh, you know, your $75 sticker, or permanent plate. Snyder wants that going. Yeah? Yeah, Snyder wants that going. That was at, for the, I went to the meeting yeah, on the road. Yeah, I said you're out and about. He says we can't afford that. And he wants, that's one of the first things he wants to get the tax for the roads. Yeah. Get rid of that $75 plate. Right. Well, let's see what we're going to try. You can get rid of him. Which one? Snyder. Both of us. Oh, Bummer and Snyder. Still look better. That one too. I know he likes Snyder. Oh yeah, I saw that. He just fumbles money right to me. No, not really. I don't know. No, yeah, I don't know. But he would be. He just fumbles money. I'm not a person. I don't know. I'm a, I'm a yeah, you got another, what, another year, yeah. I'd like somebody to run and then just stay in, in Mills Township. Don't be over there and have us pay for everything. How many things is he on the commission for this, commission for that? No. Well, you know what I did say? I called the sting operation. Because the Hunts uh -huh. Kitty Clinic for me is and they want the license plate, the make of the car. I said, it's too far to... Well, you want you to do work? I know. Thank you. 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 Here. 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 Okay. Everybody had a chance to review the minutes of last meeting. That's on your motion to approve. I'll make a motion to review the minutes from last meeting. I'll second. No support. All in favor? Aye. Opposed? Yes. <laughs> Last month's balance was one million fifteen thousand nine hundred eighteen dollars and fifty six cents. Receipt two hundred seventy eight thousand four hundred seventy four dollars and seventy nine cents. Disbursements sixty eight thousand two hundred thirty three dollars and twenty cents. Keeping a new balance of one million two hundred twenty six thousand one hundred sixty dollars and fifteen cents. Motion to approve the treasurer's report. Mm -hmm. I'll make a motion to approve the treasurer's report. Second. Motion to support. All favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? And I have my last card each to be taken off. We'll make it last. Motion to uh, remove the one.
one garbage. I'll make a motion that Mary move the one garbage. I'll second that. Motion to support. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Aye. Aye. Motion carried. Okay, has everybody had a chance to review the bills last month? If so I need a motion to approve to pay the bills. I make a motion to pay the bills. Second. Any discussion? Motion to support. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? That's your part. <clears throat> okay, the only thing I have to report is I got the yard waste dates approved. And the first yard waste pickup will be April the 17th as long as all the snow is gone. And if you need a list of all of the Yard waste pickup dates, you can get one here at the township hall and I'll be putting it in the paper. <coughs> and that's all I have. Uh, supervisors report, I just have two items. Um, the Double Lake project is on schedule with the bid opening to be at Lapham Associates at 11 a.m. Uh, this Friday at uh, March 14th at Lapham Associates. Um, I received a letter from the District Health Department Number 2 informing the Township that Double Lake Township Park Beach water sampling will begin again this year. They have one more year on their grant. Uh, the program went well last year with no major problems. And those are the only two things I have. So with that, what are report? Hi everyone. Uh, for the month of February we had four occurrences, one vehicle fire, Two assist to consumers power and one structure fire. That is our occurrence. And additional business, we would like to March 25th at 7.30 do a, um, a tornado siren testing. Okay, That's an annual thing that we do. We try to do that about 7.30ish. But I tell you, if it's really bad outside and it's stormy, we're not going to do it. Okay. So expect that the 25th of this month. That's all I have. Anybody got any questions? I want to know, like I have a couple of fire extinguishers at home and they said that we could go to our fire department and have them checked. Can we do it? Or could I come and bring my... We can check them, but we can't fill them, obviously. No, but I, mean, I think they're okay, but I want to make sure just in case. No. Is, would there be a charge If you're going to be home tomorrow or Thursday, I'll stop in your house and I'll look at it myself. Would you really? I have I about four of them. They're not great big I'll ones. do that for you. Oh, yeah, Brian, <laughs> trying to get on my good side. All right. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, Thank yeah. you. I got something. I have about 50 of them. Say what? <laughs> I got about 50 of them. You're home tomorrow? It's not going to happen. You'll be alone. <laughs> I'll look at them, but, but if they need filled or anything. Um, Where would I go? There's one in Stanley's right across from uh, North Forest. Yeah. And Kip the restaurant there, the log cabin, uh, almost right across the street. Is that right one that, that? that fills them. Is he there every day? I can't answer. Oh, I'll find out. I don't know the name of it. If you got little ones, they're probably disposable. Yeah, I was going to say after they're covered. My yeah. driveway's really icy. You're going to have coffee on? Pa pardon? You're going to have coffee on? Give me a roundabout time and I'll have it on. <laughs> All right. I, I don't know what time. Okay. Have. It's hard to say. Okay. Thank Dinner you, Dinner, too. Dinner. Hey, come on. <laughs> <laughs> um, I got it. Actually, Jean asked me if we did that, and I don't know. We're gonna, I'll have to find out tonight to see if they put that back in there. Thank you. Thank you. Mr. Ford? You really want coffee, Brian? No, I don't. <laughs> Thank you so much. Last month, they just had four complaints. Uh, they've been all pretty much rectified. Uh, the rabbit track, uh, junkyard. Actually, I did not expect any any cooperation with the property owner, but he could have not been any more cooperative. Um, he plans on clearing most of the vehicles out of there uh, this summer, spring through summer. And also, there's a huge uh, eyesore of a trailer that's lengthwise, blue trailer, that goes right along the road, and he plans on tearing that out. 
uh, so he can improve on his garage, which is actually a pretty decent looking building. So he'll be working on that. Um, I know I keep going back and forth on the tires, uh, but I did get in contact with the lady from DEQ. We are eligible as a township to do or to get the scrap tire collection grant. Um, they were not doing that for several years because they had the big 50,000 tire plus was their minimum before they started shelling money out. They've got most of them piles taken care of. Now they're giving the money to the, the, the communities and, and townships. Uh, so we are eligible for that. I do have the application. Um, I've just got to get into that application and we would know something by October of this year. So unfortunately, we won't be able to do a tire collection until the 1st of 2015. Um, that's about all I have. Anybody got anything? Or? Good job on that, following up on that, yeah. Rob, on that grant for that tire pickup. Yeah, well, anyway, that'd be helpful. We got to deal with it somehow. Thank you. All right, uh, Commissioner's report. Commissioner Hunter, there, yeah, sure. Just a few things tonight. Uh, good evening. A uh, few things I want to report on. The first thing is, is um, the, you guys are familiar with the DNR Trust Fund grant, obviously. I'm pretty familiar with that, and uh, is that's where the boardwalk money came from and the elbow lake money. The, the county is applying for a DNR trust fund grant for the Deer Park up in Foster Township. Uh, the, the total project is going to cost about $100,000. Uh, they want to put in a paved parking lot with paved pathways to the deer, to the deer area, fence in the deer area with new proper fencing, upgrade the actual units that the deer live in, uh, make a nat nature trail going around the perimeter of the property, um, put in some uh, new uh, ADA approved um, outdoor uh, facilities, and a kiosk that you could get information about the deer park. So uh, total project about 100,000. Uh, we're applying for that. Uh, we approved it at our last board meeting, so we'll find out on that soon, I, I think, or towards the end of the year. Uh, the inmate housing agreement between Oscoda County and Ogemaw County was renewed. No changes cost-wise. The only change on the contract is that every week we had a doctor come to the jail. The doctor will now be coming to the jail every other week. However, he is on call 24-7, uh, 365 if we do need a doctor in the jail. But uh, instead of weekly visit, it will be bi-weekly visits. That was the only change. Um, so far to date, uh, Skoda County the revenue is fifty thousand five twenty-five for January and February. So, um, and uh, another thing I want to report: personal property. You guys may may be aware of Public Act four hundred two. Uh, it changes the laws on personal property. At beginning this year, uh, any any parcel that has uh, under eighty thousand uh, dollars worth of value, worth of personal property value, there will be no taxes collected. And the amount that that will be affected as a county, if you were to take the 2013 tax numbers and, and calculate them, uh, it, it would affect us about $32,137 this year um, if you use 13 numbers. Uh, also in the Public Act, there's a seven-year phase-out on industrial personal property. Uh, the biggest township that's going to see any... Uh, it's going to take the herd on that's going to be West Branch Township. They have that um, that power transfer station or the substation there, uh, just south of 33, uh, just south of 55, east of 30, west of 33. Uh, but the as if after the, uh, the personal property industrial totally phases out in the next seven years, that will be a loss of $101,000 for the county. Uh, you know, obviously, that's that's a substantial amount. Um, hopefully the state comes up with some some way to replace that, but uh, we'll keep our fingers crossed for now. Uh, so appointments, I want to report on some appointments. The Planning Commission, there was two members that were appointed to the Planning Commission. Uh, Scott Bell was appointed as a new member. Uh, he's the, from Lapham, he's doing, a, he's very familiar, very familiar with uh, 
the county's master plan. He wrote the county's recreation plan. He, did he do the Mills Township recreation no, plan? Or uh, very familiar with, with the county's overall plans and uh, great hand to have on the, on the planning commission and looking forward to his knowledge and input. Gerald Lehman was renewed on that for another three-year term, both those three-year terms. Zoning Board of Appeals, three members of that board were given another three-year term, Joe Peterson, Steve Brenner, and Richard A. Hanger. So for now, that's that's what I was going to report. Does anybody have any questions on anything? Shane? Can you give me a scenario for that new 401 Act that the one you just said that they uh, Public Act 42. How it's going to, how would it affect us? Uh, well, how much revenue do you guys collect in personal property down? Do you know? Oh, not offhand. Uh, Twenty thousand. Uh, probably. Somewhere in there. Yeah. We don't have That's too many parcels. Yeah, I mean, actually, twenty thousand is probably high because yeah. we're looking at thirty-two thousand for the whole county. Yeah. So that would be probably way high, but. Um, uh, for this year, not major effect, and, and Mills Township, not so much as other townships. Uh, the townships that have heavy industrial, like uh, Rose Township has the uh, City of Rose City uh, manufacturing place. It doesn't affect residents at all? No. Okay. no. There, there's, uh, there's only like 67 commercials in Mills Township. Okay. And it's just under $5 million in uh, uh, comparable to property. Value. Okay. So then you equate the tax back to that, but there's only 67 commercials in Mills Township. So any of those 67 that have under 80,000 in taxable personal debt and property won't pay this year. But no, not this year. Well, next year. Well, in 2013 we had to pay, but 2014, what I've been hearing now is that what is supposed to be coming out is a ballot vote that the public is going to vote on. This is the last that we have been told to our assessment of that. It's going to be a ballot question. And then if if it's proved that there's not going to be personal property tax, then townships have the ability to apply special assessments to their township uh, to regain the loss of those revenues. That's the last that I've heard of. But okay. that that well, we could know change. How they're going to vote on that then. They're going to yeah. the public's going to vote for. There's going to be 65 businesses vote no, and the rest are going to vote yes. <laughs> exactly what it's going to be. Yeah. Because and they're not going to want last their taxes time to go I up. heard of it. So now, um, you, you know, we could try to, to, to get some more. Yeah, I know you're just here now. But that's yeah, what that's through uh, the Tony uh, Rush, our assessor. That's what yeah. she told me. But if you did, it's I mean, supposed to be on the August ballot. Yeah, so, so that, that which is isn't a popular election to vote in. So. But it is going to be a ballot question. If you, I, I, yeah, I have my own personal opinion on that. If you talk to uh, the township assessors, sometimes they'll tell you that, uh, that the properties have enough personal property that by the time they're taxed for it, it hardly covers the postage to send out. You know, and I think that's what they're trying to do is go after the, the small parcels. But when they start talking about uh, eliminating the industrial personal property tax, then you're talking. Major dollars. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Some of our uh, some of ours are only like three dollars, ten dollars. You know, your smaller like Rose Ice Company that's three dollars. Oh yeah. And okay. Stuff like that. We have a lot of smaller ones. We have a few little size ones. Wow. Yeah. But did, 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 Mandy, have you heard anything in reference to that? As, as far I, as the the. Uh, I got the same information Pete did at the meeting, but I understand it's not. For sure, yeah. Right, it's not, it's not. I mean, they had to sign affidavits and all kinds of paperwork and stuff, and, and all kinds of information has come down around that, but they're already making changes to it, and who knows, it could change it again, but if it becomes a valid question, God knows what's going on. So, uh, they would probably change that, get rid of it, in a long time. Yeah, yeah. Somebody told me that they were going to, whatever was lost, they were going to split it amongst the commercial businesses, you know, all the rumors go. And, and, and raise that equally amongst the businesses. I didn't hear that, but I, I heard, heard that that's that, what they're going to do here. That uh, townships could could enact a special assessment uh, to recoup that, which then that would be spread across all the taxpayers. So, you know, business owners are paying X, and then recoup that. Now it's going to be spread over 
everybody's. They, they're saying that, that from what I heard, that, that is what they're uh, that they would allow that. It'd be interesting to see how they spread it because if they if they spread it over that by township, then the townships that have a lot of industrial or a lot of commercial going on, then their people would be having to pay quite a bit more. Yeah. I'll see if I can find some more information for the next meeting to, uh, to follow up on that to see if, uh, uh, in reference to that, uh, the other special assessment, because maybe that's just a, that's something that's on the floor as a bill or something, you know what I'm saying? Uh, but, uh, thank you. Well, thank you. I have the exact amount for you. Okay. Yeah. We'll follow up next month with that. So. I don't think that's that. Uh, when when people was talking about the postage, I mean sometimes we go through the bills at the uh, at the uh, when we do the bills twice a month, and when the taxes go out uh, for people's personal property tax or their regular taxes, it amazes me what the postage bill is to send those out. Have you ever noticed how big those postage bills are? Because when the bills that high from a particular office, like John Ory's office, for instance. I was like, wow, why is this bill so high? I mean, it, it's so much bigger than normal. I look at it as postage to send out all that, all those taxes. It's amazing how much the postage costs just to do that, a county-wide or township-wide. Is it more so, than $2 a stamp? No, it's not more than $2 a stamp, but when you look at as a whole to all property owners, and that's property owners that have property here but don't live here, so, uh, but the, the postage bill is really high. Just a comment. Don't you? Don't we have a two dollar collection fee though? On for for that, on our, on my taxes, there's a two dollar collection fee, and I think. Well, I'll just cover the paper. That, that's 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 your winner in summer. The postage. That, that goes to the time to get you know, the oh, more than two dollars for just for a winner. For for a for a small small like yeah. But every that's time, two dollars. Two dollars. But that's. I have the postage. I understand, but that includes the paper, the envelopes, the postage. It, it all the printing. It, it all adds up. It's not just mailing it. You, you've got to get them together. You got to put them together. You got to put them in the envelopes. You have to buy the envelopes. You have to buy the paper. It it all costs money. So I'm sure that's why they do the two dollars for the collection. You know. So we need to take all the pieces that are part of are part of that and put it in there, not just portage. I think small towns like these should be subsidizing businesses because that's why they get here. It's hard to make it in small towns like this. A lot of people think that it's uh, you know, it's a lot different than what they think. I mean it's it's really tough. It really is. So I have to take it higher than, than local government to be subsidized because Right, I'm just making a federal. comment. Yeah, I understand. Anyway, um, there was an issue with the health department about uh, relocating water well that was drilled too close to a septic field. And the health department now is talking about if you have a well that's going to be drilled, that the landowner should be responsible for finding the septic, uh, the septic system of uh, your own property, as well as 